Hello guys, greetings from Ambutronics. So, uh, if you guys haven't subscribed my channel, please uh, consider subscribe my channel. Uh, it uh, just really motivates me to make uh, new videos based on embedded system and IoT development like that. So, uh, if you haven't subscribed, uh, please just subscribe this channel. And uh, in this video tutorial, we will learn how we can uh, use uh, Arduino as a component in uh, our uh, Espresso, uh, sorry, ESP IDF using VS Code. Uh, previously, also we had uh, show uh, Arduino as a component in Espresso ID, but this time we will see how we can do this thing in VS Code. So, okay, so we will just uh, go to our computer screen. Okay, so we are in our uh, computer screen now. Uh, so here we will uh, take the example of our uh, previous code, uh, which was hello world. Uh, so on that hello world, we will uh, just uh, uh, add Arduino as a component and we will see uh, how we can uh, use some libraries of uh, Arduino uh, uh, as a component in, in that case. So, okay, so first what, you need, what we need to do, we need to just uh, uh, go to view and open uh, command palette and uh, here we need to show example project same process we will do so in this case uh, example projects will be open and here um, uh, in this case uh, we will just take uh, a hello world example project so okay let it open so this is hello world so this template we will create so uh, here in the desktop itself we will just go to this one and uh, here we will select this folder so now uh, hello world example is created mm. this is the code uh, now we will just uh, build this and uh, after that uh, we will uh, add uh, how we will see how we can uh, add Arduino as a component in this uh, code so let's build this so okay meanwhile it is building just I'll just fast forward this video for you Okay, so it is about to finish and uh, after finishing that uh, we will uh, just go to uh, our uh, uh, command palette again and we will uh, see there uh, one option is there uh, to add Arduino as a component. So I will just uh, uh, press the control shift, uh, this is finished and I will just press the control shift P. Uh, So here uh, you can see uh, ESP second uh, in, in the second uh, line we can see ESP IDF add Arduino ESP32 as ESP IDF component. So after clicking this one a new folder will be generated here. So I am just clicking on this. So here you can see components uh, folder is created and it is just adding the necessary libraries uh, here uh, to uh, this components folder. So uh, Arduino ESP32 as ESP IDF component. So okay, let's uh, uh, again. We, it it will take some uh, five five to ten minutes. Uh, uh, means less than uh, five to ten minutes. Near about uh, seven minutes it will take. So all let it happen. So I'll just pass forward this this portion as well. So here we can see uh, it's uh, uh, finished. So if I'll just click on this, so I can see that Arduino folder is here, and these are the uh, 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 subfolders uh, uh, create uh, uh, is created within this components Arduino folder, 
and here uh, libraries you can see uh, all the necessary libraries we have uh, which have, whichever is used in uh, Arduino uh, like uh, SPIPS uh, and USB Wi-Fi these libraries are there so what I will do I'll just uh, do one thing I'll just uh, uh, use serial dot println uh, library uh, in this uh, code so how will I use that thing in this code I'll show you that thing so what will we do we will just uh, first we will uh, 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 any Arduino code uh, should be in a CPP library uh, because CPP uh, programming language because uh, uh, Arduino basically works on CPP so what I'll do I'll just uh, uh, rename it and make it uh, uh, CPP first so this thing I'll do and after that in cmake dot list c dot text cmake lists dot text within main remember guys within main uh, cmake list dot text is there here also you need to change this c to cpp and uh, save it and after that what will we do uh, we will just uh, go to again uh, again in our code and here we will just uh, extern this thing because this is written in c language this code so i'll just extern these I'll uh, include uh, includers because these are a uh, C includers so I'll extern this and uh, I'll also extern the app main function itself so what I'll do I'll just uh, uh, copy paste it and uh, just remove it and copy it here and paste it here and put a semicolon here so this way uh, we are externing these files these uh, includers and also we are externing uh, the, uh, the void app main itself so this way uh, uh, we can uh, uh, we can go run any uh, uh, means like make it cpp uh, and after that uh, we need to include uh, Arduino itself but Arduino should be outside that, that this external C because this is in C this works in CPP so Arduino dot H so here you can see uh, uh, this uh, red green blue was coming now it's not coming now we will just build this thing first and let's see what happens So it's building. Uh, so we got some error. We need to check what error we are getting. So here, uh, uh, okay, here we have got the error. CMake error at components. Arduino CMake list dot text. Uh, ESP32 Arduino requires config free RTOS hard equals 1000 currently set it to 100 so uh, let it cop let me copy this and uh, let's go to the cmake list dot list dot text in components folder and here here it's 1000 and uh, currently 100 it is saying currently 100 so let's search uh, this thing in our whole project and uh, we'll see where it is 100 we need to make it 1000 so control uh, shift uh, F and so here in STK config file itself it is 100 so here here we need to make it 1000 so uh, so uh, if you will make it this thing 1000 then only it will work remember guys this thing that or otherwise it won't work so again I'll just go to explorer and I'll just build it again so again it start building itself
so now you can see uh, we are not getting any error so uh, let it finish uh, so again here I'll just uh, make uh, I'll just fast forward this thing because it it, it needs to complete this uh, this uh, till 1122 so okay so it's uh, about to finish uh, here you can see uh, it, it is reaches uh, it reaches 1115 uh, now 1117 so uh, so it's completed the building process so here you can see that uh, how how much ram is used and total uh, the rom size is used now what will we do we will just uh, uh, we will just uh, use some libraries based on uh, uh, Arduino uh, IDE like uh, Arduino framework so after this print app let's say I want to print something so what I'll do I'll just uh, give one delay here let's say two seconds delay and now here I'll use serial dot print ln and uh, I'll write here hello world from Arduino as a component so this is the thing but before that we also need to uh, declare the baud rate So this is the baud rate and uh, this is the print message and uh, now what will we do we will uh, we will just uh, uh, give one more delay here let's say after serial begin also before printing this uh, we also give one delay here so now we will just uh, build it again and we will flash it to our ESP32 so uh, I think uh, you have understand uh, till, nine, till now what we have done in this code basically we first converted it into CPP then we changed the CMake list.txt uh, and uh, here in this uh, also we have we have renamed it to CPP and in the code uh, we in we have just uh, these included includers we just extern these includers because these are in uh, written in a C language and then uh, outside that we have included Arduino.h because it's it's written in CPP and also we are externing this void app main itself so this is the thing uh, so what I'll do I'll just uh, uh, select the uh, I'll just connect first my ESP32 to PC so let me just connect ESP32 so it's connected mm, now we will just select the COM1 then this COM4 is the right port and uh, this is the code so in this case what we will, we will see we will uh, see in the output hello world uh, will be printed and then uh, chip id and all uh, silicon revision and uh, these things will be minimum free heap size and all everything after that uh, a restart now uh, we will see that it will print hello world from Arduino as a component also it will be printed so okay so uh, uh, just click on flash select UART and click this and now it's just press by pressing just the boot button at it it just uh, downloading to uh, uploading to our ESP32 uh, W room so it's uploaded and now uh, in my last video uh, some portrait issue was there uh, using this serial monitor of PS code so we had fixed 
uh, that thing uh, by just going here and uh, we'll go to settings and here if we'll just type baud rate then here we need to select 115200000 uh, so this is the fixed so uh, that I have fixed now we will just uh, again open the serial monitor and we will see the output so hello world this is the SP32 ch chip with two CPU core this thing is printing and then restarting and after restart now it will print hello world from Arduino as a component so restart now two seconds delay and then you can see uh, that uh, uh, okay uh, as a component some something it missed uh, it's not uh, print it, it is not printed properly so let's see the real reason behind that okay so uh, what I have done I have just uh, changed the delay from uh, two seconds to five seconds and then I'm just uh, see, doing serial begin 115200 and uh, now we can see the out uh, I have just uploaded it and uh, I can see the output mm, here uh, if you will see again so uh, hello world this is the ESP32 chip with two CPU core and uh, how to restart now it will print hello world from Arduino as a component so here you can see hello world from Arduino as a component so this is just a basic idea how we can uh, use Arduino uh, as a component in VS code uh, in the next video uh, maybe we will look on look upon uh, something like how we can add some other libraries like add a fruit libraries or any other external li libraries based on Arduino in ESP IDF uh, uh, using ESP IDF uh, as a component so uh, uh, thanks for watching this video thank you guys thank you very much